From the earliest days of her childhood, Emily had always been captivated by the notion of movement and freedom. It was on a sun-drenched afternoon, under the watchful eyes of her parents, that young Emily first felt the thrill of balancing on two wheels. The bicycle, a small pink affair with tassels on the handlebars, wobbled precariously as she pedaled down the driveway. Her father's encouraging words echoed in her ears. Keep pedaling, Emily. The faster you go, the easier it becomes. It was more than a lesson in cycling. It was her first real taste of independence, the wind in her hair, the ground rushing beneath her. In those moments, she was untethered from the world, free from constraints, a feeling that would later define her journey as a gatekeeper. As a teenager, Emily found the mundanity of school life stifling, her spirit craving for the same freedom she felt on that bicycle. Her notebooks were filled not with notes from class, but with doodles and sketches of fantastical vessels and distant worlds. One day, while ignoring a particularly dull history lesson, her pencil began to dance across the page, outlining the form of a ship. It wasn't just any ship. This one was special, capable of soaring beyond the clouds into the vast expanse of space. As her imagination took flight, so did the ship in her drawing, its sails billowing not with wind, but with the light of stars. Little did she know that this simple act of daydreaming was a precursor to her incredible destiny. With a mix of trepidation and curiosity, young Emily, the student weary of the monotonous drone of her classroom, pushed open the door, seeking just a moment of respite. However, the world beyond was not the familiar corridor of her school, but the creaking wooden deck of a ship, vast and majestic under the open sky. She stepped through, her heart pounding with a blend of fear and exhilaration. Before her stretched the endless expanse of the ocean, and she stood aboard none other than Columbus's legendary vessel, a name she had only encountered in the pages of her history books. The ship swayed gently on the waves, its sails billowing in the ocean breeze. All around her, sailors hustled, their shouts and the sound of ropes and pulleys filled the air, creating a symphony of maritime life. Columbus himself stood at the helm, his gaze set determinedly on the horizon. Emily, feeling both out of place yet strangely at home, realized that her sketch, her daydreams of exploration and freedom, had somehow merged with reality, propelling her into this historical moment. As the realization set in, Emily's sense of adventure overtook her initial shock. Here she was, a young girl from a completely different era, standing on the deck of a ship that was a cornerstone of exploration history. This unexpected journey was not just a leap across the ocean, but a leap through time, and Emily knew instinctively that this was just the beginning of her extraordinary adventures. The tempest raged around Columbus's ship with a fury that turned the sky to an ominous canvas of swirling greys and blacks. The vessel, a mere speck in the vast, churning sea, groaned and creaked as it was tossed about by the merciless winds. Amidst this chaos, Emily stood on the deck, her hair whipped by the gale, eyes fixed on the raging maelstrom ahead. The sailors, faces weathered and eyes wide with fear, scrambled across the deck, their shouts barely audible over the roar of the storm. Columbus, at the helm, his brow furrowed in concentration, struggled to maintain course, but the ship seemed to have a mind of its own, drawn inexorably toward the heart of the tempest. It was in this moment of dire uncertainty that Emily's resolve crystallized. A flash of memory, her father's voice, the sensation of speeding on her bicycle, the wind in her hair, filled her with a sudden clarity. She moved towards Columbus, her voice cutting through the cacophony. Captain, we must turn into the eye, she shouted pointing towards the swirling center of the storm. Columbus, taken aback by the boldness of this young girl, saw a spark of truth in her eyes. With a decisive nod, he barked orders to his crew, and the ship began its daring maneuver. As they sailed headlong into the storm, the ship picked up speed, 
the sails billowing like the wings of some great bird. Emily stood firmly, her gaze locked on the approaching vortex. As the ship reached its peak speed, she yelled, Now! The vessel heaved as it turned sharply, the centrifugal force acting like an invisible hand, pushing them away from the deadly pull of the storm. As they emerged from the other side, the crew erupted in cheers, their faces alight with relief and wonder. Emily, her heart still racing, allowed herself a moment of triumph, feeling a deep connection to her father's lessons and the freedom she once felt on two wheels. She had faced the impossible and emerged victorious, marking the beginning of her extraordinary journey across time and space. Upon the shores of North America, Emily stepped off Columbus's ship, her eyes wide with awe and her heart filled with anticipation. The landscape before her was like something out of a vivid dream, a pristine wilderness that stretched as far as the eye could see. The air was fresh and invigorating, the colors of the flora more vibrant than any she had seen. She was greeted with warmth and curiosity by the native people, a stark contrast to the cold classrooms where she had first read about this new world. As Emily wandered through the lush forests and along the pristine beaches, she couldn't help but feel a sense of enchantment. The beauty of this untouched land was overwhelming, and for a moment she allowed herself to be lost in its wonder. However, as she observed the interactions between Columbus's men and the indigenous people, a shadow fell over her heart. This was not the glorious discovery she had seen portrayed in films. The reality was far more complex and, in some ways, darker than she had imagined. The unfolding events around her echoed the history she had read, a history of conquest and change, not always for the better. Despite the allure of this new world, Emily knew she could not and should not interfere with the course of history. Her role as a gatekeeper was to observe, not to alter. With a heavy heart, Emily stepped away from the burgeoning settlement and opened a new door through time and space. She emerged onto a ship, but not one that sailed the seas. This vessel glided through the vastness of space, its sleek design and advanced technology like nothing she had ever seen. And there, to her astonishment, was Columbus again. But this Columbus was different. He was a captain of a different sort, a space pirate. He explained to Emily how, after her departure, his adventurous spirit had driven him to explore even greater unknowns. In a daring attempt to uncover the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, he had been swept into a vortex so powerful that it propelled him through time and into the future. Now he stood before her, a legendary figure among the space pirates, a man who had traded the oceans of Earth for the endless expanse of the cosmos. His tales of interstellar escapades and narrow escapes were as unbelievable as they were thrilling. But their reunion was cut short by the blaring of alarms. The ship was being pursued by space police. Columbus's face hardened, his eyes gleaming with the thrill of the chase. Quick, to your stations, he barked to his crew. We've got a pursuit to outrun. Emily, caught up in the whirlwind of this new adventure, felt a surge of adrenaline. Here she was, far from the historical shores of the new world, in the midst of a cosmic chase. As the ship accelerated, darting through asteroids and nebulae, Emily realized that her journey as a gatekeeper was far from over. It was a journey that spanned not just time, but the very fabric of reality itself. The chase was on. The space pirate ship, with Emily and Columbus at the helm, zigzagged through the cosmos, evading the relentless pursuit of the space police. The ship, a marvel of futuristic engineering, responded nimbly to their commands, darting past asteroids and weaving through the tapestry of stars. Emily, although initially overwhelmed by the sheer expanse of space, soon found her bearings, her adventurous spirit reignited by the thrill of the chase. Columbus, drawing upon his centuries of navigation experience, employed a daring strategy. They used the gravitational pull of nearby planets to slingshot the ship at breakneck speeds, 
a cosmic game of cat and mouse with their pursuers. Each maneuver was more audacious than the last, the ship gathering momentum as it swung from one celestial body to the next. It was during one such maneuver, a gravity assist around a massive gas giant, that they inadvertently achieved a velocity and trajectory previously thought impossible. The ship hurtled forward, leaving their pursuers far behind, and stumbled upon a revelation, a hidden planet within the solar system, moving so fast that it had eluded human detection for centuries. This discovery was monumental. Columbus, no stranger to finding new worlds, looked upon this celestial body with a sense of awe and wonder. Another new world, he murmured, his eyes reflecting the starlight. But Emily's thoughts were tinged with apprehension. She remembered the history of Columbus's discovery of the Americas and the subsequent impact on its native peoples. As they orbited this new, uncharted world, a debate ensued among the crew. Some saw opportunity and fortune, while others, like Emily, pondered the ethical implications. Will history repeat itself? she asked, her voice laced with concern. Columbus, now a figure shaped by experiences across time and space, reflected on his past. The weight of his historical legacy was not lost on him. This time we have the chance to learn from our past, he said thoughtfully. We can approach this new world with respect and caution. In that moment, aboard a pirate ship orbiting a newly discovered planet, Emily and Columbus found themselves at a crossroads of history and the future. The decisions they made could chart a new course for humanity, one of exploration guided by wisdom and a deeper understanding of the consequences of their actions.